It's a story that was told first and exclusively here on CBS 3. We are digging deeper to find out what led to a transplant mix up at one of the largest hospitals in the region. The life threatening mistake involved two patients waiting for a kidney. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan has been working on this story. He joins us from Virtua Our Lady of Lords Hospital in Camden with new information. Cleve. Well, Yuki, since we broke the news this afternoon about the surgery mistake at Lourdes Hospital, many people have been wondering, how does a hospital do a kidney transplant on the wrong patient? Well, it turns out the explanation is pretty simple, and some would say inexcusable. Same name, but not the same patient. That's the gist of why Virtua Health says their team at the Lourdes Transplant Center gave a kidney to the wrong person last Monday. The day after performing the successful kidney transplant, they realized the person who received the organ had the same name as the person who was supposed to get it. Officials say they were also of a similar age, but clearly not the same person. And the patient who missed out on the kidney was actually higher on the priority list. Because of our investigation, Virtua admitted to the mix-up, but officials would not answer our questions on camera. Instead, they said in a statement, we have a profound responsibility to people who literally place their lives in our hands. Mistakes of this magnitude are rare, and despite the unusual circumstances of similar patient identities, additional verification would have prevented this error. Patient advocates say verifying a patient's identity is Medicine 101. want to confirm the patient's name, first and last name. We would want to confirm the patient's date of birth. While Virtual won't say who on their staff is to blame, they did apologize to the person who was supposed to receive the kidney, and they were actually able to give them a transplant in less than a week. Experts say while this mishap is a bad look for the hospital, it may lead to a malpractice lawsuit, admitting to the mistake may save lives in the future by serving as a wake-up call to the health care providers everywhere. By being transparent like this, reduces the likelihood of this type of medical error never happening again. Now because of privacy laws, Virtual will not tell us the name of the patients that were involved, but they say both people are recovering well from their transplants. Meanwhile, they did report the incident by themselves to the New Jersey Department of Health. We've reached out to them, and they say they will not comment on any possible investigation here. We're live in Camden. Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Cleve, thank you.